This is the official website of SideStore. I will leave the link in the description, this tool requires no jailbreak or computer after initial setup, only requires internet connection, so tap on get started. The first step is to download required files. Before that, make sure your computer is running Atlas Windows 10, must have an Apple ID, a stable internet connection, and an iOS version of Atlas, iOS 14. So 1, by 1. Download all the files, as shown on the video. You will also require iTunes and iCloud for your computer. Use this provided links only to download these files. If you have a Microsoft Store version of iTunes or iCloud installed, you must uninstall them first. So, in total, there are five files which needs to be downloaded. So, once all the five files are downloaded respectively, just launch the file manager. And navigate to the download folder where all the files are located. First we must install and set up iTunes and iCloud respectively. So double click on the iTunes setup exe file as shown. Follow the on-screen instructions and install and launch the iTunes. Once iTunes is installed successfully, just launch the tool. If in any case you face an error while installing iTunes, watch this video. Once you launch iTunes, you will be asked to log in with your Apple ID and password. SideStore recommends using a burner Apple account. And if you want to know what it is and how to create one, link will be in the description. This is to avoid being falsely flagged as malicious. So once you are signed in, just connect your iOS device to the computer using a cable. On your iOS device, you have to trust the computer as shown on the video. Next click on this icon as shown. Scroll down and make sure this Wi-Fi sync option is enabled, which will allow to work wirelessly without computer. And next close the tool. Now, just double click on the iCloud setup exe file and follow the on-screen instructions and install iCloud. Agree to the terms and conditions and finally click on install. The installation process will begin, make sure the iOS device is connected to the computer. Once the tool is installed successfully, it's mandatory to restart the computer. Once restarted, just log into iCloud using the burner Apple account. This is optional, but I will choose don't send option. And finally click on apply and then just close the tool. Next up, go back to the download folder and extract the alt installer dot zip file. This is a new method released by SideStore, previously they used Side Server, now they have switched to Alt Server. Now it's time to run and set up Alt Installer and use Alt Server. Inside the extracted folder, just double click on the setup.exe file and install the same as shown on the video. Now on the taskbar, just click on this up arrow as shown. If you do not see any Alt Server icon here, which is like a diamond shaped icon, please do not worry. As you can see, in my case, it's not appearing. Just go to the Windows search bar and search for Alt Server and click on this open option. Now let's recheck the taskbar to see if the Alt Server is appearing or not. As you can see, the Alt Server icon is visible. Now, press the Shift key from keyboard and while keeping it pressed, left click on the Alt Server icon. Click on sideload.ipa and then it will show your device, just click on it. Now, just navigate to the download folder and click on the side store.ipa file. And then click on open. Next up, enter the same burner Apple account and password and finally tap on install button as shown on the video. The side loading of side store process will start. You can also see the message appearing here. On my iPad, as you can see, Side Store has started to sideload, and eventually it will be sideloaded. It's not over yet. Next up, we need to pair our iOS device. Go back to the computer, to the download folder, and extract the jitterbug pair zip file as shown on the video. Once the file is extracted, inside the extracted folder, you will find this exe file. But, make sure your iOS device is connected to the computer. Just right click on the jitterbug pair dot exe file and choose run as administrator. If you see a pop up like this, click on more info and then click on install anyway. A black window will appear and automatically run a script and then a new file is created like this. Just right click on it and choose compress to zip file. 
Now this pairing file needs to be imported to side store app in your iOS device. So you need to transfer the pairing file to your iOS device. I will transfer it simply by emailing it to myself. You can do the same or prefer what's best for you. If you are still with me, please like this video and also subscribe to my channel. Now, back to my iPad, let's check my email inbox. As you can see, I have received the email. Just tap on it and save the same in your files app to any location you prefer. Now, once it is done. Next, launch the files app and navigate to that pairing zip file. Tap on it to extract the same. Finally, just go back and launch the side store app. You will see something like this. Just tap on OK. And now select the extracted pairing file as shown on the video. And we have successfully paired our iOS device. Next, just go to settings and log in with your burner Apple ID and password. You can see it shows how side store works without computer. To do that, we will need to set up WireGuard VPN in our iOS device. On your Safari browser, visit the Side Store official website, tap on Get Started, as shown, tap on the fourth step, and tap on Download WireGuard button. It will redirect you to App Store, just download the WireGuard app. Next go back to the website and download the WireGuard config file. Once download, it's time to import the config file to WireGuard app. So search and launch the WireGuard app. Tap on the plus icon and select create from file or archive. Just locate that WireGuard configuration file, tap on the file to import it. It will appear here like this. If you want to sideload IP a file or refresh apps, you have to enable the VPN as shown on the video. Now just go back and launch side store. And let me show how to sideload or refresh apps. On the My Apps section, tap on this plus icon, and now select any IP of file you wish to sideload, and as you can see, it's getting sideloaded without any computer, so you no longer require computer after the initial setup, and the sideloaded app is also working fine. Next up, if you want to refresh apps just make sure that the WireGuard VPN is turned on, if not, then manually enable it, as shown. We need to refresh apps, as all sideloaded apps expires after 7 days. These apps have only 3 days to expire, so just tap on refresh all button. The apps will start to refresh, and the expiration will reset to 7 days again. So you can either manually refresh the apps, or have it automatically refresh. If you want the apps to automatically refresh, just enable the WireGuard VPN at all times. Hope you like this tutorial. Now if you want to learn about other sideloading methods, watch the next video.